Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. Oop, there goes my previews there on my commercials. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. It is Wednesday and I am here a half an hour earlier than my regular time. I hope you got the notification on my Facebook page. And also I scheduled this so that you can get a heads up if you are subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, please do so that you can get a notification of my, my videos. I'm gonna change my chat to live chat so I can be all caught up. It was a good day. I had my helper Stephanie um, here today, so she did help me a lot. You can see we, I have not, it's backwards, filled out the colors yet back here, but I have piles of paper everywhere, which you can kind of see. And I cleaned out back there and um, actually Stephanie cleaned out back there and I have some retiring stamps over here. Um, on the left side, <laughs> here, here, those are all retired without stamp, uh, dies. Those all have dies in them. And over here and up, there's another shelf above this one uh, on both sides. And those are my carrying over uh, stamp set. So I'm kind of organizing. Um, excited about the new colors, me too. So I got my box and my, if you haven't seen my unboxing, it's a little unlike um, others, not everybody's. I'm sure they, somebody does the same thing I do. Um, but what I like to do is kind of group things so you can see all the suite together. You can see the bundles together. And then I'll show you the papers together in a group. Now I did thumb through this time and look at the papers um, very quickly because I was showing Stephanie. She's a demo also. And so I was showing her um, what the insides of the paper look like. And then I did a few things. I stamped a little bit. Um, I was going to die cut. I didn't get to that, but I will. Um, so you can see here, I have my new blends and my new reinkers. So I have those to like you don't really need to see them. They're blends and re-inkers, right? So I have those, but I do have markers to show you. I have ink pads to show you and a lot of good things. So we will get ready. Do you guys want to start with color or stamp sets? Let me know. Thank you, Denise. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm really happy about my haircut. It's so, so, so simple. No curling iron, a little curl brush and blow drying and product, it's about the product. Um, I have very thin, fine hair, and to me this, I feel like I have a, a lot of hair with this hair, haircut. Stamp sets, stamp sets, okay. Um, so what else do I have to share with you? Stamps, okay, I'm gonna start with the stamps and then I'll go to the colors. Um, bingo, I'm gonna update you really quickly that right now it's looking like bingo will cancel unless I get 10 more people. Um, I kind of have a guideline of what I break even, a guideline of what I'll be willing to fork out the extra, which is, you know, I give $100 prizes away, I give four of them, but I've got to kind of have enough people. So I need 10 more if, if anybody is interested. It is next Wednesday. You will get four kits in the mail and um, uh, lots, of, lots of goodies because I am also going to be boxing up items um, for flat rate box sales because I've got a I have way too much stuff retiring like way too much so I'm just going to be putting stuff in some will be partially used there's a lot of new stuff there will be stamps dyes paper ribbon blends ink reinkers markers there will be a lot so um, there's going to be a good combination of everything bingo is at five o'clock next Wednesday, the 12th. Um, can, hi, Tashana, how are you? Stamps first. Thank you, Darlene. Um, looking, looking, looking here. I haven't expedited, I didn't expedite my order and I'm regretting it. I know it's such a hard decision. I expedite everything. A lot of people expedite a few things to show or what they want to start playing with and then they do the rest. I am an impulse, let's just, I want it now. So um, I just do the whole thing. All right, hi Perry. Um, so that's kind of what it's gonna happen. Let me show you my bingo really quick. Here it is, the 12th at five o'clock. 
I try to start earlier because um, it takes a little longer. I don't really, I can't go earlier than that because the West Coast people aren't even off work yet. And by the time we kind of walk through and everything, uh, Melissa, there's a link below in my description. I would love for you to participate. I do still have um, for the class, Incredible uh, Irresistible Blooms. I still have, I think, seven seats left on that. So there is that available also. I hope I get enough too, Leslie. It's just so much fun. Um, if I don't, I'm going to announce now there will not be a May bingo. I was hoping to get one in at the beginning of the month because I go on my, my incentive trip. Um, however, the trip starts the 21st, but we are leaving and we are heading over early to Europe. So we're leaving the 11th. And so there's just really not enough time because I do want to do a paper share. I will absolutely um, overnight my paper share and get it all ready and everything and shipped before I leave. So, um, you know, I normally try to do it within a couple days. So if we order the second, it'll ship the third, I'll have it the fourth. And by usually the 7th, 8th, it'll be out. So I'll already have the labels done and everything. I, there's no sign up for the paper share yet. That's next. I'm working on something kind of exciting to share with you. So when I get that done, which should be by Sunday, if not earlier, make sure you're on my Facebook page, Marcy Bessiker Designs. Um, and I will post there. Uh, oh, thank you, happy stamper lady. I appreciate that. Of course you can. Demonstrators absolutely can do bingo. So just quickly, it's four bingos. We do four projects. Um, I give $100 prizes away. Um, if I know this month, I know it's pre-order and I know it is uh, last chance and that is where people's money is going and I don't blame you. Um, and I'm okay if we need to, you know, not do one this month, but then we won't do one until June. Okay, but it will be all new product in June. I expended my order, but I received an email saying due to mechanical failure. I say, I call Stampin' Up, they made it right. Oh, good, good. Oh, good, good, good. See, I'm glad. Birthday's at 12. Yay, Debbie, it'll be fun. Hi, fellas. Oh, I love paper share. I love paper share. I can't wait. Um, okay, there's another list. Paper share. That was one. The trip. Okay, so speaking of incentive trip, somebody asked me um, how close I was. I'm close. I'm very close. I will make this an incentive trip. My goal would be this month, probably not going to happen. May, it'll happen in May. So I'm super excited and I appreciate everybody for asking and um, being my customers and participating in my uh, classes and stuff because that provides me to buy product for classes and for bingo and helps me earn my trip. So I do appreciate that. Uh, Oh, thank you, Carrie. Yeah, bingo is a lot of fun. And trust me, you're going to be getting some extras in your bags. Um, you always do, but you'll get extra extras. Okay. Let's start out with the sweets. So, um, like I said, I thumbed through quickly. I didn't get to look at everything, but I'm super excited because um, I've been cleaning and doing stuff all day and working on a special project for you. And um, I... Have not really had a chance to look so let's start out with the cute zany zoo i do not have oh, i have to laugh stephanie just messaged me and she said i forgot my sandwich again she ate half of her lunch and she said please don't let me forget my sandwich and i oops wrong way and i said okay and she just texted me and said i forgot my sandwich <laughs> again oh she does it every time um, okay, she lives in the next town, so it's not quite so easy. Look how cute these little animals are. Now, I'm going to be really honest. When I first saw this set, I was like, other than my two grandchildren, will I create with this? You know what? I definitely will. Um, it is just too cute. Once I look at it, and once I see that not all the animals are colored, only part of them, I love it. Um, at first, I thought, oh, this would be good wrapping paper. But um, again, I'm going to go over this too. Stampin' Storage is where I get my envelopes. I love them. The names are long enough to put a long name on there. And I just love these. So that's that. Um, so anyway, here we have something great to celebrate you. You're too wonderful. Happy birthday to you. 
Um, it is just so cute. I mean, look at the llama crochet or knitting. That is knitting, not crocheting. So cute. So I think the birthday, I love the little turtle with the music notes. I mean, super cute. Super cute. Love it, love it. Okay, so then we have our dies. Of course, I threw them on there with the white paper um, so that I could hurry up and get everything ready. So we're going to see, first of all, what cuts what. All right, so here is our first sheet of paper. We have cutting. I don't see balloons, so that one won't work. I don't see a llama. Was that a llama? Thank you, Andrea. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that, I don't see that on this page. What else do I have? A dancing, I have a squirrel. Okay, nothing else except the alligator matches on this one. Okay, and then the reverse side is black and white. That was kind of one of the things. Thanks for the thumbs up, you guys. I appreciate it. Want this one so bad. I'm a demonstrator, so hoping to order soon. Want to see cards with it. Me too. I just made a card with that paper tonight. So cute. Oh, Brie. I'm excited. I can't wait to play. Um, so black and white, always a good thing. So let me move that over. Um, oh, here we go. All right. So we're just going to have to take our little balloon guy. Thanks, Lisa. Look how cute. All right. No llama, no koala. I got to look at the pictures. I don't know it. We got the balloon guy. No squirrel, no dog. Okay, so now on this page, the little balloon guy works. So that's good. We'll just kind of transfer some of them. And on the back side of it, oh my gosh. And then you got stars. Cute. Cute, cute. I can think of another set that this would be cute with. All right. And then we have, oh my gosh, look at a goat baking or cooking. Look at, we've got a yoga Oh my gosh, let's see, do any of them? Oh yeah, okay, so here's our llama. So it looks like one per page, which is kind of nice. And then you could always take your alcohol markers and color these in, how fun is that? So stinking cute. Okay, I am, um, if you were against this paper when you saw it, like I was, it's going to change your mind. It is so cute, but don't let me lose my dies. That would not be good. Okay, and then the back side, we have some squiggles. Cute, cute. All right, so now we have music notes. So cute with our cute little turtle. Where's our cute little turtle? Over oh, right here. This guy. And look at, we have a cloud, two balloons. We have like a little stand here. Trying to see what that could be for. We have a curtain. Oh, this looks like a chair. So like you could actually put the frog up on a chair. Look at like a stool. Like he's up playing the flute while the turtle is singing. And then here's our turtle. All right. So we have a, a little scallop, which is good because hand penned is um, gone. So we have a scallop, which makes me happy. And then we have our um, curtain. And then we have, this could be a banner to, to do your um, text on. It could be like a board that you could make like they're performing. And this is their uh, marquee thing or whatever. You got little flowers. So there's a couple little things in here. That looks like a little bottle. Like I haven't even looked at these, you guys. So I'm just kind of guessing. Um, let's see. What is this guy? We have a raccoon that we haven't seen and the little ballet dancer and a squirrel. Okay. So let me not move, lose my dies again. All right. So next. So for those of you who have, who have not seen me do, um, an unboxing. Yeah, it, I take a while. Sorry. Um, I was with you on that, but I've changed my mind. Laura, I'm telling you. And then we've got some, you can kind of see that there's a pattern in there but just kind of a messy polka dot, kind of a pattern a little bit in there, kind of cool. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go, here's our kitty. Gotta have our dancing lion or cat or whatever this is. So cute. Tiger, I guess that's a, it could be a tiger. 
All right, let's, I wasn't gonna move, well, I'm not gonna move this all over. And then this one is our squirrel. So we don't have a squirrel here yet. So I'm just gonna put these right there. So we have the cat. And again, like I said, pick out a card that might have like this, um, I'm guessing this is Coastal Cabana. And then you can kind of do your flowers and everything with whatever other DSP colors you're using and, and kind of tie it all in, which I think is so smart. And then we've got that. And then here, where's our squirrel? I'm looking for, oh, you guys, it's a skunk. It's not a squirrel, it's a skunk. So this little guy goes right here. Look how cute. It's a squirrel. I mean, a skunk even better. How cute is he? Oh, I wish we had a die for the pig. But let me look at the pig real quick. A scan and cut. Perfect. The only thing is this little grass down here. So everything else, perfect cut. Everything's closed. So this would probably be a decent scan and cut page. Um, Oh my goodness, look at that. You can color those flowers if you wanted. Now that would be some therapy, wouldn't it? But look how cute that is. All little flowers. Okay, so that is the paper. So lots of black and white on this side. All cuteness on this side. And then there's the stamp set. Let me put my dies back away. Again, um, stamp and storage is where I get my magnets and my um, pouches. So I'm just gonna put this away like that. All right, and of course we have some ribbon, so let me show you that. Yeah, I definitely changed my mind on this. I am so happy. I almost didn't get it. I almost just bought the ribbon. And then I was like, you know what? Uh, will it cut out his walking stick? I don't think so, I think it's attached. You just have to make sure you fix your margins. Um, let me find it. I think it's this one. Nope, he's completely attached. The Oops, let me see where I'm at. The walking stick is completely attached. It's got a little leaf on it. So everything, there's no openings. It looks perfect, except like the, I said, the little grass right there. Yeah, it's really cute. It's a lot nicer than I was thinking. Obviously, if you want to join my team, I'd love to have you, and you can order your items today. All right, so we have our ribbons. Let me, I love, love, the, love, love this. I like that this is the really thin, it reminds me of ribbon we've had before. Okay, so let's see. So it's got like a little, let me see if you can see it. Mm. It's got like little, stitching in it these colors are in the catalog which i don't have one so i would have to look it up online i'm guessing that this is that um well it could be pear oh let's look on here let's see what this color is lemon lime twist and i think that's petal pink yeah lemon lime twist and petal pink and then this one is a little thicker. Oops, let's see if I can get it out of here. There we go. And they're both really, they're really, really nice. And then I think they're gonna be perfect um, to craft with. They just had 20% off on Mag. I, yes, it ended yesterday, Lisa. All right, yes, the pencil trick, exactly, Brie. You know what else I do? Um, luckily, we sell these individually now, but I do use the black um, marker, and I just, and, and I also have an old one from Stampin' Up that's the, you know, the journal one, and just a fine tip black marker. If it's not going to mess up your picture, I will just do a little tiny line here and there if I don't mind not erasing them, because... A lot of it, it doesn't really matter to me. If it's got a little black mark on there, it looks just like the ink. But anyway, pretty ribbon. So that is the first suite, and it is called Zany Zoo. And honestly, I don't, let me see my pre-order. I'm trying to make sure here. 
Uh, Zoo Crew is actually the sweet. So the DSP is called Zoo Crew, and it is uh, the DSP. So that's the name of the is Zoo Crew, whereas the stamp set and the dies are Zany Zoo, and they are named the same. So yay! All right, that is number one. I'm gonna pile it behind me so when I come back to you guys, it's gonna look like a hot mess behind me. All right, so the next one we have is called Beautiful Balloon. And I wanna say one of these, okay, so not the stamp sets, but look at the die right here. It has a cute little tab a little label there that's got confetti kind of cut out at the top. So um, that would be really cute. And then you've got these balloons here, which is just one large, let me put this off, one large set of balloons, like a cluster, which is really cute. Um, when is the new catalog released? Uh, May 2nd is when the new catalog goes live. I've ordered them for my customers. They'll be getting them um, from Stamping Up. They'll mail them directly for you. So I've already purchased them and they're gonna be mailed to you um, if you're a customer. If not, I'm getting some catalogs. If you don't have a demonstrator, you can definitely go to the top of my blog, marcybessaker.com, and just say you would like a catalog. I'll get one for you. Um, we did not get them, Rebecca, with our pre-order. They mailed them. Some people are already receiving them, so I'm just kind of waiting. Um, oh, Deb, we're just starting the second one. So, um, yes, watch the beginning. You'll get some info. Um, so this looks like a tassel here, right here. Um, I'm in California. I just tend to get my catalogs or my, my paper pumpkin, anything kind of late. So um, it should be coming any time, though. But here's like a, a roughly tassel. And then this, I think that's a tassel, too. It kind of looks a little different. But then there's some confetti, which would make really cute confetti. That's just like a confetti that you can make your shaker cards with, right? And then we have this, which I was going to run on a piece of paper, so I will really quickly because I wanted to show you what it does. So let me pull this off. See how the sticky stuff sticks? So I just take my pokey tool and get that off. And I'm just gonna take a piece of paper and run it through real quick. Let's see what we have. We gotta check it out. It looks like a fringe. I think if you put it on an edge, maybe you can make a fringe because I used to have like the fringe scissors. But let's see. Okay, so. This is what it looks like. So what I would do, I'm grabbing my small one because I have it right here, is I would go through and just cut that off and then you've got fringe. Okay, so you can do your fringe there. And then I'm wondering, I'm gonna try something really quick. If you leave a little bit of a base, let's see, right about there. Now this is just, I'm wondering if you could do like a flower, like I don't have a pencil right here, but if you could do the centers of your flowers, of course it would be round, but mine's not round right now. But if you needed to do like a flower on top of a package, and then, you know, you could put this in the middle of your little paper flowers. Look at that for the middle of a flower. Of course, it would be a lot neater and more round and not um, <laughs> rectangle like I just folded it. But anyway, cute, cute. So that is this. Um, you could also, instead of putting it in the middle of the paper like I did, you could put it, you know, take your paper and put it like this so you don't have that edge. You see what I mean? And then you don't have to cut it on that edge. It would already be frayed. So just bring it down a tiny bit. If you need it a little bit, bring it way down. Yes, and you could do grass. You are exactly right, Annie. And just do grass with it. So bring it down like this. And then you would just have a short little fringe for tiny flowers. This is a bigger one because it's the whole length. And you could really 
push it out except you know like I said it's not round but you get the idea all right so very worthy die there all right okay what else do we have here okay I think that is sums up that let's see um I think it's time for a celebration let's get our celebration on happy birthday Ooh, notice this we have a circle punch coming up and so that is good. Confetti. I love the streamers. Uh, so thrilled for you. You did it. So it's kind of like a, it's a celebration. It could be birthday or congratulations kind of thing. So I'm liking that. So that is the bundle. Oh, let's, let's keep the stamps. All right. So there's that. Now, keeping this in mind, we also have some beautiful paper that I have not looked up, all right? Um, I do um, have these boxes and there is a, I get asked a lot about these. Um, I, the extra cardboard that you get, which I think I just threw one away, I was gonna show you, but you know, on the back of your papers and stuff that you get, um, I keep the paper. I've since this one have uh, added some on the sides to make them stronger. Stephanie actually makes quite a bit for me because you know, I just don't have time. So she helps me when she can. And she makes these little boxes for me. And there is a video if you want to know. And then um, I just keep my six by sixes in it. And then I keep one of those freezer bin things and I um, put it in there. So that's where those come from. So here is our paper. So we get four sheets of each. So we have stripes and stars. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, this is pretty. This would be really pretty in a background of a shaker card. Oh, look at the distressed lines. I love that. Okay, so this is the side I'll be using. I'm, I love stripes, polka dots. Sign me up. All right. More pretty papers. Oh, let me read you the colors. Uh... uh Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, bl uh, Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, and Pretty Peacock. So pretty much all the new stuff. Look how pretty these are. Ooh, look at that. Oh, Graduate, a tassel. Yep, I think you're right. Oh, Sharon, I was just talking about that little guillotine to somebody today, and I said they really need to bring that back. I wish they would. Would that crimp the paper? Um, no, it only cuts it. Yeah, I, th I think it would only cut it. Um, okay, so look at, oh, I like this a lot. That is really pretty with a lot of new colors on it. Okay, speaking of bubble bath, somebody had asked, I think we were on a um, demonstrator video or something, and I said, ooh, I wish they would come back with something called bubble gum, which is my favorite nail polish, one of them. And this is my nail polish. It's um, um, OPI, and it's called bubble bath. And sure enough, look how close that is. Of course, they already had this color picked out some time ago, but I'm kind of thinking that they took it off the nail polish. Look how pretty. It's so close. Bubble bath. It is beautiful. All right. So finally, finally a pink. Ooh, look. I'm seeing this for the first time. I kind of thumbed through it, but I saw like three patterns. Ooh, so pretty. Okay. Stripes, sign me up. This is going to go with my next set that I'm going to show you. So pretty. So, so pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, pretty peacock. I'm so glad you're back. Where have you been? Oh, cute. I've got some fun designs in here. And but and some nice soft, you know, images too, if you want that. Kind of ties together really nicely, of course. That's what Stampin' Up! does, right? You guys, this is the most people I've had on my YouTube. I'm so excited right now. Oh, and then this looks kind of like darker and lighter, distressed kind of look. 
like a, not, it's not ombre, but it's kind of like a distressed look, I guess. Pretty, 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 pretty. Ooh, this would be really pretty with water. A water image. We'll stay with this. Oh, look. I like how they're doing that couple tones that you can kind of tie your colors together. And we've got stars. Four of each. And then these stripes are really pretty. And then we've got the berry burst on the other side. Really pretty paper. Love, love, love. So that is the paper, but that's not all. So for the, oops, I like to keep this in here in case I need to refer. I used to, to um, I used to put them on the back, but I, I try to reuse these if I can. Okay, then the other paper we get, yay, gold celebration. And this is vellum. Oops, there's my cheap paper. So here's our vellum, and we have stars, which are on two sides of, I'm gonna bring this in, which are on two sides like this. So we have it across the bottom, and then we have it across the top. So these would be really cute. Yes, Barb, I'm gonna do the paper share. I will do all the specialty paper, the six by sixes and the 12 by 12, anything that's new. If it's carried over, um, like the regular vellum, and there's a couple things, I will not do those. Anything new will be in my paper share. And my paper share is the cost of the paper, um, and then the shipping to me and shipping to you, it's all divided up, and that's, or shipping to you would be included. So I just kind of, everything's flat rate. I send it flat rate to you so you get it right away. Um, oh, did I say vellum? Thank you. It's acetate. Yes, thank you, Tashana. So acetate, and this would be a great shaker card, right? And that's where I was talking about um, with this confetti right here. Make yourself some confetti. When I saw the picture of this, I thought we had confetti that had these little squiggles in them. And I was all excited. I was like, oh, we have confetti with little squiggles in it. Uh, no. Look at that. You put that as your acetate on top of your... Um, shaker card and it looks like that's part of your shaker but it's it's all spread out it's really cool so there's that one and then the last one is one of my favorites polka dots this would be a really cute congratulations not for a birthday it could be new year's it could be a graduation it could be an anniversary anything like that would be super cute super super cute it's window sheet which is acetate sharon window sheet yeah, I think I said vellum, but oh, I was wrong. Of course, I know that, but you know. All right, so that is really cute. Three sheets and a package, which is fun because you're going to need just, like, let's just look. If you cut out, let's just say the cluster of balloons, you're only going to need that much. So you could do one, two, three, probably four a probably 12 on one piece of paper easy and then here and then here give yourself a little room on the back of your card so it doesn't come off super cute everything is super cute i say super cute a lot okay so that is the let me get my cheat sheet that is the bright and beautiful sweet collection bright and beautiful write down these items so that you want them Remember, if you uh, sign up, you can order them now. All right, so there's that one. The next one is probably my favorite because I absolutely love, love, love daisies. And anybody that knows me knows I love daisies. I love, it's funny, they just make you happy. I just love them. But anyway, um, let's see, you made my day, oopsie. Oops, a daisy, so sorry. Like, uh, forgot your birthday, like my cards would say. Wishing you the brightest birthday. Your friendship means everything. I just love that set. When the sunflower left, I was sad, but now I'm super happy we got daisies. I love daisies. All right, so we have a label, 
this is a flower with the leaf attached to it. And then this is the solid leaf, looks like, that goes behind that. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. Okay, hold on. They're attached. No, they're not attached. The die is attached. Look. It does all your die cutting, your, your dies won't overlap, but they do not, the stamps are all separate. So this is the layering part, I believe, for these pieces. So this is the background. So if you wanted to do like all white and then add this for yellow on top or whatever, or vice versa. Very, very cute. Let's see. So you have the center for the large, the center, oops, let's see. Well, this one I think can go for here and here. So you have those for there and here, and then this one for the large one. And then you have a die for this leaf and the stem, oops, you can't see, and the stem right here. These you have Okay, you have the die that goes, let's see, does that go, yeah, no, I don't know, how does that go? It looks like it goes, but it gives it quite the background, the edge, maybe it does, well, maybe it does go, but it gives you, oh, I see, you know what, no, that's not true either. I was thinking that maybe you cut it out in white paper, but you stamp it in yellow or whatever. But these two go together. But this must cut that out. But you can also layer it up. Oh, see, I gotta play with this and see. I'm reading to see if anybody has any ideas on this. Um, so anyway, that is cool to layer those up. I can't wait to play. And then the same with the medium and the, the small one. So it's interesting that the outsides are pretty big. So we'll have to play with that to see. Because let's see. Now this one, see how it just gives you that extra space. So I'm kind of thinking that you can do some different things. All right, Tashana, very cool idea. These are kind of things I watch unboxing videos for. Thank you, Tashana. I was just thinking, oh, they're probably like, you are taking too long enjoying looking at everything. I want to hurry up. But, you know, for those that watch my videos, no, I don't do it fast because I want to figure out what I'm doing here. All right, so then we have our two center pieces there. Our little cluster does not have a die, which is perfectly okay. But then you get, you know how daisies have those really stringy little, uh, fern type leaves so that's what that is but I'm loving this oh oh I don't know okay so here's my thought is maybe we die cut this and stamp these on top of here I don't know we're gonna play with it that'll be a video very soon all right we'll just we'll play with that oh Andrea thank you Thanks, you guys. Are daisies only white with yellow centers? You can, that's what mostly they are, but you can get them different colors. Okay. All right, so that is that, but that is not all because it is a sweet. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. All right, so then you got these, which I'm going to have to open because you can't see the ones up here. So we got to see, but I think these are perfect colors for daisies. Alright, so let's see, and oops, let's cut straight, I need to clean those scissors, they've, they've been through the ringer today, opening everything, alright, so, these, oh, okay, so they're little, so you've got the yellow, the, this looks like balmy blue, well, I don't know, and I don't have my catalog, so we're just going to say, or boho blue. I think that's boho blue, actually. 
And then this might be, it looks like copper clay, but those look like they would go great with daisies. So I'm happy about that. Does the cluster fit over the large flower? Well, oh, the cluster over the large flower. Let's see. That's what I was kind of thinking, but I thought the stamps um, cut separately. So let's see. Yeah, see, it kind of does. That's what I'm thinking is maybe what we do is we cut this out, create a template like I've showed you guys before so that your template is like this. And then you take your stamps and you put them in that beautiful stamparatus that I hope you have. And then you stamp them where the flowers go and the leaves go and do multiple of that. But we're going to do a video on that, so don't you worry. We're going to figure it out. But I think that is possible. That's what I was kind of thinking. Um, okay, so yeah, these are the faceted ones. So you can see that they kind of have those different sides. Really, really pretty. It would be nice if they put the colors on the embellishment package. I know, because sometimes you just don't know. But once I have a catalog, I'll be much better. I can look online, but it would kind of mess us up. Last time I did, I only did that once, and then my video was way behind. I don't know why. Um, I even did it on another screen, and it did it. Oh, that's not all. Okay, so now, of course, we got to have paper in a suite, right? Now, here is my issue, and I'm going to say it now. With a paper share. Normally, I cut my paper share in six by six, right? Is this screen better or would you guys like it out a little bit more like that? Let me know because I'm thinking it kind of is like, look at, like off. All right, so I'm gonna go with this because I think you guys can see better. Um, okay, so here's what my thought is, is when I do my paper share, these two sheets of paper, this is what you get on the back side, which is gorgeous because there's one piece of paper in here that I want to wallpaper my room with. Um, but this, what I'm going to do is cut these, okay? So I have four people per package, right? Because I cut them like this. And then you each get a quarter. Well, this one, two, four, six, eight, ten. There's ten. So obviously these two will go somewhere and these two will go somewhere. But the larger one, you know, I'm going to have to divide them up. So with a paper share, oh good, I'm glad you guys like it out better because all of a sudden I'm thinking, why can't I see a full screen? And that's not even in. This is my third level out, so I just want to make sure. Um, so what I want to do is when you get your paper share, you will get some of this. Um, just know that you won't get it all because I will cut these so that you can use them on cards. I don't want to give you you know, portions of everything. So just know that you may not get everything, but I'll, you know, try and get everybody to get some. So anyway, that's the other side. Gosh, this is just so pretty. So see, they're white with yellow, and then they've got a little bit of brown. So you could take your little marker and on your stamp set, put a little brown in there if you want. Ooh, that would be pretty too. I, you know what? Who does not like the new in colors. And I asked that because once you see them, um, I loved them from the get go because I love, you know, those kind of mattish colors. Oh, excuse me. But um, I think you're going to love them. There's a couple stamp sets that I highly think that the, the in colors are going to be perfect for. Um, look at that. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, thank you. The gems are copper clay, boho blue, and lemon lolly. Thank you very much. Since there are two of the same sheet, that's a total of 20 cutouts. You could divide them up for exactly. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, it's just you're not going to get one of everything is the thing. But that's exactly what I'll do. Thank you. Yes, this would be good. This is a great um, thing to cut leaves out of, to do grass out of. I mean, I love stuff like this because now 
I love this. Now look. Look how pretty this card is going to be. Absolutely gorgeous. This color is the, the Moody Mod. So pretty. And I'll read you the colors on this in a minute. Ooh, look, again. So, so pretty. Oh, this blue. What is this blue? I'm going to read you the colors, but this is so bright and so pretty. And look at the colors. They just... The thing is, though, is when you have this color on the back, then you can't use this side. So make sure that when you cut your paper, you know, you're going to use this on the front if it's going to be like all by itself. And then this part and this part down here, you can use on the back side. You know what I mean? So cut your four and a quarter or four by five and a quarter out of, the, out of this part and then use the strips on the reverse side. That way you still have a whole full sheet to do the same thing. Make sense? I hope so. Ooh, this kind of looks jungly. I love how they bring in these new colors. So pretty. And again, this is, look how pretty this is. Let's see what's on the reverse side. But look at that. So pretty. These two. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right. Oh, and then the blue. So pretty. Okay, so that is the paper called Fresh as a Daisy. And the suite is called Fresh as a Daisy. The stamp set is called Cheerful Daisy. And your colors are Azure Afternoon, Boho Blue, Bubble Bath, Cajun Craze, Copper Clay, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Lemon Lolly, Moody Mob, Pebble Path, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. Absolutely beautiful. Mine too, Robbie. I just, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, that's the one I need. That is the one I need. Again, uh, these pouches, I, I told you, stamp and storage. I like the longer ones. The, the Amazon ones are shorter and they're like frosted. And I like this nice clear so I can see what I'm doing. All right. So again, cheerful daisy. That is a sweet there. And I have one more suite to show you, which I think would be really fun to tie into the Daisy set. And it's called Countryside Corners. So, you know, we got rid of like our diorama. Is that all of the new colors? Let me glance again really quick. It's a lot of the new colors, that's for sure. Um... Cajun Craze is not new. Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Garden Green are not new. Yep, everything else is new. So most of them are new. Uh, let's see. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I think it might have been Azure too, it, or a combination of them. There's, it's just really, really pretty. Okay, so this I think is really going to be cool because I love nested dies. Um, you can add lots of papers and colors in the back, but look at this stamp set. It's got little polka dots, stitching, and uh, this is a three stitching. This is a single one. Little tiny flowers, little polka dots again, and then like little leaves right there. And it's one stamp. So um, you could stamp this and then you could die cut it. Okay, so let's say we're gonna stamp this and then you're gonna take the first die. Be careful, because they're you know pretty thin. You're gonna stamp this and then you're gonna take this, of course it's gonna be facing down, you know, but and then put that in there. But you could take the next one and put that in there and put it on your paper. So you can get them in there just how you want them and you can die cut all of them at the same time. So you could add adhesive or like I like to use my um, um, temporary tape and just tape your dies on your paper. So I stamp this and then I'm going to put those all on there, line them up. 
I'm going to take, here's an old piece of tape. I'm going to tape my tape and I'm going to tape them like that. And then I'm going to run them through. The other thing I think you could do is die cut them all. You can create a template, do it in the middle of a piece of paper. You could um, put your die cut pieces back in, line them up and then stamp on it. But I think that's going to be harder. I think I would do this first as I would do your paper, you stamp it and then line up your images like this. Just keep lining them up. So these two, get your tape, line them up and get your next one. I would start probably from the middle, work your way out like that. Once you get them lined up perfectly, which these are not because there's nothing to guide it from, but you know what I mean. And then just take your tape and run them through. And I think that would be the easiest way to do it. But I'm excited about this because you can use part of, like, let's just say you want the polka dots and the flowers. You know, you can just do whatever sizes that you want. Okay, let me just stick these on so they're not, I don't like to put my dies where they're crossing over each other. I don't want to um, dull my blades. Let's see. Um, that would make a great border on a frame too. Yes, I see the O for Ohio State. Yeah. I was thinking of um, Oregon, but it's not exactly the, that O, but Ohio would be very cool. You could do polka dots or stitches, all kinds of stuff. Um, how many packs of DSP can fit in one of those pockets? Oh, of, oh, of my um, paper pockets? Okay, I'll, let, I'll show you that in a minute. I will get to that because I'm going to, I'll show you something and you'll see. Um, okay, and then there's an embossing folder that goes with this. Country Blossoms. Let's see. I have not opened it yet. So, let me see if I can find a dark going out of style paper. Um, there we go. Look how pretty that is. So here's the picture. So remember, this is um, countryside corner, so um, it's a little more country-ish. But I'm thinking of something like this with paper, with the colors that I want to kind of match with my daisies. But I don't know. Got to play with it. Got to play with it and see. All right, so there's that. And then the DSP. Countryside Inn. So this suite is called Countryside Inn Suite. The stamp set is called Countryside Corners. Okay. And then the embossing folder is Countryside Blossoms. So here's the paper. This reminds me of that boho medley that we had. Different kind of blue, but all blues. It's really pretty. After making your first order, can you as a demonstrator order again this month as long as you stay within it? Okay, so Karen, what happens is um, when we can pre-order, we can order one suite, but we can also order a bundle. So that would get you two. You can order one suite, which gives you everything, plus two consumables. So let's say on the suite, I can order a suite plus two DSPs, two ribbons, two... Um, embellishments um, so anything like that then what happens is if you don't order your limit on everything you can go back in and so let's say you order your DSP first or your your sweets so you've got your four sweets you have everything but then you're like I need more paper you can order two more of the DSPs okay same with the paper the blends the markers um, you can order two of those inks one refill one um, if I'm remembering right, um, your package of paper, you can get two. So they limit it just so it's just enough to get us started and show samples. Um, but yes, if your first order doesn't include everything and you need to finish or order more items, as long as you haven't reached your limit, if you've already bought one suite of something and you go back and say, Oh, I want another suite. It will not let you do it until May 2nd. Then you're open to buy whatever you want. So, um, yes. You can go and continue ordering. You just can't go past your limits. Um, 
Oh, Eileen, thank you. Yes, a thumbs up. You guys would be fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Love the sweet, especially the paper. Hi from Boston. Hello, Gina Marie. Okay, so here we go. Let's continue on. I hope that answered your question. Um, so this paper, let's see. I love the blues. So these are the two sides right there. Oh, look at the bunnies. Perfect time for Easter. Look how cute that is. Oops, except I can't get the other one up. So oh, here we go. And then here's the other side. So cute. And then birds. So remember, this is a countryside set. Cute paper. I see all kinds of potential for the back. I love blues. It's funny, when I was younger, it was like blue. I didn't, there's no blue in my house. I can tell you there's no blue. But now I have like a, like a soft blue and like a sagey green kind of color in my room. And I'm, I'm liking the blue in my bedroom, but not, I don't do it out in my front room. But I do love this paper. Not that I don't like blue, I just, I just, um, like I have people that their couches are blue, people that I know, and I'm like, mm, I'm not a blue furniture person, I guess. But I do love this blue paper. Look at these little foxes, how cute are they? Cute little foxes. And these are little tiny flowers in the dotted you see the dots? So cute. And then here we have, I still, you know, my husband was just talking about, we have a ponding basin behind us, and he was just talking about these little tiny gnats out there. So he turned on our, our bug thingy outside. I forgot what it's called. But, um, and they, I, somehow they're making it through my screen. Oh, look, those look like little tiny daisies. I don't know if you can tell on there. But they're just little tiny flowers. Except all of the petals are facing up. But they're so cute. So cute. So anyway, that is the paper. And in this paper, we have Balmy Blue, Boho Blue, Misty Midnight, and Night of Navy. Sounds like they've got the blues covered. Yeah, these are pretty. Love the blues. Thank you so much for the answer. I was under the impression I couldn't order again. Of course you can. Yep. Thank you, Karen. Okay, here we go. So there's that. All right, so that is the end of the suite. So let me take you over to the bundles. <laughs> you should see my piles. They're going to collapse. I know they will. Um, the first one I have here is Crafting With You. How cute does this look? We've got a little cut and emboss, a heart, a flower, some, some paint brushes. looks like a um, spatula there. Sewing machine and some knitting needles. And life is better when you're crafting with love. You inspire me, sending you a handmade hug, little basket. And then we've got our little, um, our little easel thing here. So cute. And then you've got, oh, that does not go with that. This goes with this one. Hold on. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Um, okay, so here we go, right here. So here we have Crafting With You. And this, I, now I'm gonna go by what I think this is. So this is our cut and emboss. These are little um, threads, and like spools of thread. We have a um, needle point stitching. This looks like a, um, a trimmer. We have scissors that are two different parts, so you can put one of our brads in there and have scissors. And then a sewing machine, some hearts, a 
flower and the star. These are tiny. Oh my goodness, what is this? I do not know what that is. Oh, there's another one over here. Hmm. Does anybody know what this is? Uh, let's see. These little tiny things right here. I think it might be a name brand because it doesn't look like it cuts. It looks like it impresses. So maybe it's... Well, that's going to be interesting. I don't know. And then we have some buttons. I don't know what that is either. It's got to it's got to do something. I do not know. Maybe some of this goes with something else too. This looks like a ruler. This would be really cute around the outside like stitching of something. But anyway, there's a lot of cute things in here. I don't know what that is. Oh, you know what it is, you guys? Look. It's the it's the flowers here. I knew it would, it would take me a minute, but I would figure it out. Okay, flowers are right here. There you go. So you can really pop your flowers out on your painting, which is really kind of cool. And then what was the other one? That one's a machine. And I'm guessing that this here could be like a piece of fabric or something. I don't know. Oh, no, that's the paintbrushes and the sewing machine. Yeah. So I just don't know what these are. I'm looking to see if anybody knew what it is. Blades for the tremor. Mm, I don't know. Can you guys see? I mean, it looks like it just impresses it. Flowers on the canvas. Mm. I don't know. Well, I can't wait to see what people do with that. And then this one goes here. The heart. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It just impresses it. It does not cut. It cuts out little triangles. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, it doesn't. I was going to say it. It's like little pieces of paper. It's like little square rectangles, but the inside just, it doesn't cut. Flowers on canvas. Flowers on the easel. Yeah, this go. Oh, you guys are probably a little bit behind. Yeah, these are flowers on the easel or maybe a book. Paint splotches. See, I was thinking of that too, Carol. Threads for the spool. Mm. Oh, you could be right. You could be right. I bet you, because there's four of them. Look at this. <sighs> okay, hold on. I don't want to kill myself with this thing, but I'm not going to come off. Oh, ow. All right, hold on. Okay. I bet you're right. I bet you the the thread you 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 put those on top of the thread because they cut out the outside but the inside's just impressed and I bet you you're right. I bet you it goes on there. Well, that's where I'm doing it. Or at least that's my first try. All right, so yay, we answered that. Who said that? Smarty Pants. Um, paper Happiness, Monica. I think you're right. Okay, so I'm feeling much better now. I can sleep. Yes, a broke demonstrator. Debbie, you're so funny. I think that may be the sliders on the trimmer. No, I don't think they are. Anyway, now we all have something to look forward to. So there's that bundle. Super cute. I like it a lot. Crafting with you. The next one, the Wonderful Thoughts. We have that other uh, sentiment set. Oh, I got to send my son a message and remind him that I'm doing a video. Um, so this one is the same. The other set with the dies. The, I think it's Lisa Crucio's um, set. And the, the dies match your sentiments. So you can have your big congratulations here. Ooh, look. It's rounded on one side here and one side here. I love that because I like to do that. 
and you can put these on here so they all fit. Let's see what this one is. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. It's going to be small. Right here. Nope. I'm trying to see and I've got a glare here. Okay, let's turn you around. Oh. Oh, no. You can do amazing things. Yep, I think that's it. You can do amazing things. So all of these fit. They all have a little home here um, to fit. And you've got some hearts. Another one with the two corners rounded. Nice. And then you've got a cluster of flowers here. Very nice. That will be a good set. So we have uh, You're Wonderful, You're Loved, You Matter. You've come so far and accomplished so much. Of course, it's called Wonderful Thoughts. Congratulations, it's okay to fall apart. I'm still here for you. So happy that you are my person. This is only the beginning of a life filled with love. Hi friend, thanks, hello. Thinking of you, you are much appreciated. My heart will always be tied to yours. You can do amazing things. I'll listen to you. I'll listen to your silence when words are just too much. I think this is a great set. Are you close to your million, Marcy? Oh, no, Andrea. <laughs> I've only been demonstrating for three years. So, no, I have quite a ways to go. I am close to my trip, but not my, not my million. So, it would be the inner layer. Okay, we're still thinking bobbins. Hi, Marcy, forgot. That's no, okay, Olivia. I saw your message. I'll read it when I'm done. I saw part of it. Congratulations. And I'll read the rest when I, I'm off. Okay, seasonal branches. I love this because you've got branches, you've got leaves, you've got flowers, and I'm guessing those are one stamp. They are. All right, where's my branch? So... I'm wondering. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have our branch. Look at this. Oh, I love when they do this. Look at that. They've got all that detail on those flowers. Okay. Apples, looks like. Let's see. Or fruit of some kind. Apple. Leaves, little blooms like berries, cluster of flowers, a bird, happy birthday, wishes, love, thanks, you're in my thoughts, sending an abundance of um, get well wishes. Okay, so I'm thinking that we're going to have our branch. Here, let's do it this way. And we're going to take our flowers or our leaves or whatever I'm kind of wondering if they just fit on the, oh yeah, okay. All right, I don't know if you can see it very well, but see the branch here. This branch comes down where this cluster is. I know it's really hard, okay, you know what? Do you guys want me to stamp this one really quick? We gotta just see how it works. We have to. I've got to see it. All right, so there's that. I've got my trusty paper. And let's do our flowers. Or let's do our leaves. All right. Oof, made bigger. This will work. All right, so let's get our branch, which we're going to use a new pecan pie. And then for our leaves, let's use our, let's just use shaded spruce. Okay, we're just going to try this out real quick. All right, so here's our leaf our, in our branch. So let's just put our branch like this. Oh, I love this color. All right, pecan pie. Do you see the pecan pie? 
I have some samples of colors to show you in a minute. So, all right, so there's that. And then let's get our shaded spruce. Gotta check it out, right? Thank you for the thumbs up, you guys. All right, so we're gonna take this over and just kind of glance. So I'm gonna look at this, these points right here and all the end points. And let's just see what we get. We're gonna pull them a little closer because I wanna make sure my, see, you gotta make sure you get it right where you want it. And this is my first time, so no laughing. My head's probably in your way, I'm sorry. All right, so let's just go for it. It may not be exactly, but <gasps> look. Now we just need a little birdie in the tree. See, and then I'm thinking you just grab this and you just color your leaves in. See, look how pretty. These blender pens are amazing, you guys. And then just color these in. Look at that. Okay, I could sit here all day and do this, but no. Okay, but look how cute. Look how cute that is. Okay, so when you color with an ink color, when you stamp with ink, this just goes right in and you can just fill it in. Yay! All right, I love it, love it, love it. So now I need to wipe this off clear and we're good. Yay! So that is how the um, seasonal branches, and again, we have leaves, flowers, berries, and then you've got apples. You can you know, put your leaves on and hang an apple, which I would do right now, except we've got a long ways to go. So um, as much as I want to. I can't decide what's gonna be first. I thought it was gonna be my daisies, but, and it still probably is, but I'm liking it all. Okay, inks go back. Okay, so my stamp set, I what I normally do is, with polymer, sometimes I leave them on here, but if I don't, I put them in here, and I do not put the hard acetate on top, because when you peel it off, the stamps come up, but I keep this flimsy one, and I put it on top, even if this is attached in my case or not and I lay this on it. That way when I throw my little extra bits in here, like let's say I just decide to keep that in there, um, it doesn't stick to your stamps. Oh, you are so welcome. Yeah, I'm loving this. So, and look at all these. You could put your little apples. Oh, you get two apple dies, two flowers, two of the little flower buds, two leaves, and two bigger flowers. And then you get all these little leaves. Look at that. If you wanted to throw a few 3D ones in there. Thanks. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah, I, I don't mind showing because you know what? It helps me too because that's why mine are so long. I know, but <coughs> I like to see how everything works and what it is because I'll sit there at night thinking, what is that for? It's not for this or it's not for that, but it's the thread. So I'm happy. I think you're right. Lazy Days, so the scenic ones I love. Home is where our story begins. When you take time for yourself, it's always a good day when you spend time together. So it's kind of like inside, outside if you wanted. It's always a good day. Home is where, or, okay, it's always a good day when you take time for yourself, when you spend time together, when it's your birthday. Thanks. Um, welcome to our street. Very nice. So you've got your porch with, you've got your planks here for your wood. You've got your rug, outdoor rug. You've got a little birdhouse if you want. You can hang it from the top, you know, of the arches here. A chair, a table with, of course, that's iced tea, because that's what I would have there. Ooh, this is really a pretty plant. And clouds. Very cool, but look at this. So you have the full, um, patio here you've got your your pole and then you've got that design up there this is for the rug you've got some branches that you can you know pull in you've got 
your flowers here, this thing. Oh, it's your hanging plant. Okay, your table, a, your dove or bird. But you've got the rocking chair too, and I think that's not to cover that. That's just to do your, this one is for this one. This one is like, you know, your 3D. Then you've got your like banister thing that you can put there. Your birdhouse. So extra items here, which is really cool. So of course this is gonna be, your card will be landscape, but if you wanted to do it this way, you just, you know, cut it off correctly here and you're good. So you can do both. Love it. A southern front porch, that's what I think of. See, this must be sweet tea. I love your unboxings. I got most of this today, but it's so helpful to have someone else take it out. Well, I'm just winging it because I haven't looked at it, but I'm happy to try and figure it out because I'd be doing it on my own. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Okay, timeless arrangements. Your kindness means everything to me. You're my everything. You make me smile. You are so kind for always being there. I really appreciate you. Thank you. So I really thank you for always being there. You know, um, a very big thanks. Um, a very big thank you. Uh, just can't enough very much. So you can kind of make your sentiments, which is really cool. Love and um, thank you. Love and thanks. Um, hope your day is filled with everything good for always believing in me from the bottom of my heart and love you. You are the best for being my friend to you. And then you've got some really pretty leaves and flowers and it's like little circle design. These little, um, well, I, think, I guess it could be X's for kisses. Um, that'd be kind of cute if you did a bunch of O's and did some X's around it, like X's and O kind of thing. It's kind of cute. And so that is the set, okay? And then, but look at this. So you can do your sentiment, but then you've got these frames, I'm gonna call them, but they're not really frames. But, so you do your sentiment. Let's just say we do this one. Can you tell I was playing with ink earlier? So let's just say we do thank you, okay? Right there. And then this, I believe, you would cut this out with vellum or colored paper or whatever, and then you would put this behind, I'm thinking, because you're going to have your sentiment on white paper, right? So you're going to put that behind and have it kind of sticking out, and then you can do another one coming out from the bottom, or you can do, you know, some of these other flowers too, and have one, two, three, four different kinds of clusters coming out. But you also have your individual ones too. You have little flowers and leaves, you know, different things. This is where <coughs> I think that the new in colors, because like this could be wheat color, um, would be kind of cool too. Um, you could do these like little blue flowers and little pink flowers. And oh, I'm excited to try this. And then this is a little one that looks like a kind of like that. But this die cuts one of these and then this is a little one of a just color paper those look like little butterflies to me little butterflies oh they could be yeah they definitely could be they're just like little plus signs they look like but they could be like little butterflies for sure okay i'm trying to make sure i don't miss anything some of the sentiments are small enough to fit on the die cuts with foliage. Oh, uh, yeah, I think you're right. So like that you are my friend, this could just be your sentiment. Yep, I think you're right. They could fit in there. They're all about the same length. So like the little ones, um, I would put something, you know, maybe along the side or like this, just stamp a little bit of it. Or like this, more like this, because you need it tiny. But yeah, one, two, three, three frames and four, um, I forgot what I called them, but yeah, four of the little flower panels. And then you've got the, I got the hiccups, and the individual ones. Okay, so that 
is with the dies. Without dies, we have Lasting Joy. And I think Lasting Joy would go really, really well with the corner, um, countryside corner. I think that would go really, really well with that. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so thankful. Birthday wishes, always. I missed your birthday. Well, I'm going to need that one. Uh, thinking of you, for you. May the years ahead be filled with lasting joy. You're going through this, so... Um, you're going through this. I, I'm so sorry you're going through this. Hoping for better days ahead for you in my heart. You're in my life. And so, of course, you've got your little flowers and little leaves. And then um, these. I wonder if that's one stamp. Got to look. Yep. So this one and this one are one stamp. So you just you can just pull your flowers over there and stamp those. Very nice. So that's without dies. <clears throat> Circle saying is where I was saying there's a new punch. This one is two and three eighths. And somebody had asked me, didn't we have this before? I don't think we had this one because I have all of the circle punches that were here before. And I do not have this one. So I think this size is new, two and three eighths. Um, so I highly recommend you get the punch at least but look how cute this set is um do you have the marigold set that retired are you parting with it and selling with it yes i am nancy lee i have it but yes i'm letting it go i'm so sorry i missed your birthday yes exactly laura so um the circle saying i love how it has the rounded shapes and then, you know, there's images that you can color. You can add this below it. Um, there's all kinds of things that you can do. Warm hello because you're awesome. Thank you. Smile today. Happy birthday. Thinking of you. Sending you a. And then the celebrate. And then the cupcake, of course. So the cupcake can re go really cute inside the celebrate. So really, really cute. I like the set a lot. This, I think, you could stamp it around the circle and make it kind of look like a flower but i'm not really sure what that is except rays of the sunshine i'm not sure how to do that other than stamping it all the way around maybe so that i don't know we'll see all right so there's this one all right this next one is just so stinking cute this one is Little Monkey, and it comes with a Little Monkey Punch. How cute. Yeah, the sentiments in the new catalog are amazing. I really like them a lot. Um, so our Little Monkey here, look how cute he is. And so you've got a branch with some leaves. I have bananas about you just swinging by to say hi, Little Monkey. It's got a little banana. I could just see bananas stamped all over. Um, my little grandson is a little monkey. And so I think this is going to be so cute. Um, and look at little smiley face that you can put. I don't know what you, I guess if you didn't put a smiley face here, you want it to, to be a sleepy monkey or something, or you could put it on the heart too, I guess, but so cute. And then of course the punch and the punch, you get the monkey, a heart, the two eyeballs, I would assume. Oh, that's probably why. You can do the face and you can put the eyeballs on top of the closed ones or you can have them sleeping. That's where I believe that face is for. And then, of course, our little banana. So this is cute. I would only buy that circle punch. Yeah, the circle punches are great. Um, so this is really cute. And then our last stamp set of... Okay, that was a little collision. Of our um, stamps is we were able to get the um, host set. There was two of them. One I chose not to get, but this calm and quiet. I love the scenes. And so I think this is just so pretty. So this is like, a, like trees or shrub. And then you've got the um, cattails here. You've got some ducks. You've got a little bit of water. 
And then of course you've got your little pier with your, your Adirondack, which I can never say Adirondack chair. Um, it's got some rocks over here. And then of course you've got some um, birds with your reeds or whatever and some water. So really, really cute. So I like it. Um, let's see. The bottom is the face for the monkey. Bottom is the face for the monkey. Yeah, I think this is the face for the punched monkey. But then on the monkey itself, on the on the punch, you've got these two here. Um, and I think those are the eyes that you can put on top of this if you want him to be awake. Um, otherwise, you just put them like that and he's asleep. Oh, yeah, you could do blenders. You could do... Um, watercolor and there's all kinds of things you can do like i said i know bringing up the stamparatus you could stamp it um, and just you know get this green stamp it and then you can color that in and then you can color this brown and then stamp it and then color this in even though this is let's say you do it in early espresso you can come back in with pecan pie and dab on it and just you know color that in a little bit different color so it doesn't blend with your pier you know, and you can keep doing that, you know, do these a different color and stamp them, all that kind of good stuff. All right. So there is that. It is exciting. Okay. Now, oh, I'm going to show you one more thing here, or a couple of things. So this is, um, I think it's the three colors, of course. Okay, let's see. These are like the um, glossy dots. I love these. These are called, oh, these are the 2023-25 in color. So yeah, there's gonna be another color, look. So let's show you. Okay, let's do a test. Pebbled Park, is it Pebbled Park? Pebbled Path, Pebbled Path something wheat, <laughs> wild wheat, moody mauve, copper clay, and boho blue. So cute. Oh, Phyllis, the inside of the ears. Oh, that is a good idea. I think you're right. I think it could be for both. It might be big for the eyes, I was kind of thinking, but the inside of the ears, that is a good point. I like that because you can do them baby pink and put them in there. Mm, good idea. Thank you. I think on the monkey punch, what you said is what you punch in a lighter color for part of the monkey's face. Then stamp the eye part on it. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. You, you would put that on like a light brown and then put those on. That's a good idea too. Very good idea. See, look at it. That's why we do this. Okay, so anyway, ooh, so pretty. There's no um, glitter or sparkle inside. They're just really, really, really pretty. Um, so they pretty much show up like they are on line as they are in person. So I'm going to move this to the front so I can see all the colors. Okay, the other thing we were able to get is in color ribbon. So here's the ribbon. Oh, so pretty. Let's see, let's try this one. It's a little, it looks a little thicker. Oh, okay, so it's not like tweed and it's not like canvas. Okay, let's see if we do a little bow here. Let's do a double bow and see what happens. It's probably going to be too big for too thick for double but we're going to try it anyway all right let's just see what it comes out with i probably could have made the tail a little longer but that's okay well yeah i definitely need to make the tail a little bit longer let's see how it comes out though yeah i probably could have done it even longer but that's right, we'll make it work. Let's try it out. 
This is really a short piece of ribbon for this ribbon. But... Come on. Okay, you're definitely going to have to give yourself a little more because this does not really give. But it doesn't really give to, to pull it tight, but it is pretty. I would probably definitely not do a double ribbon because it's a little bit big. I guess if I did it a little bit um, um, longer, it might be okay. But I see I couldn't get the circle around to be the right spot because it's kind of goofy. But anyway, there it is. I would definitely do, um, not do, I would probably put it across, um, you know, like, like put a strip somewhere, but I probably would not do a bow with this one. Um, maybe a single bow, but it's kind of, um, it's not, it's just a little thick, but it is really, really pretty ribbon. So there's all the colors, the end colors. Okay, so there's our ribbon. All right, now markers. I'm going to show you our markers and explain. These are the old end colors last year's they're still current um this let's see i'm missing questions i'm amazed at how you tie bows oh thank you you can put it on a card that doesn't get mailed that's true laura um or you could there's a lot of things if you make bags that, that would make a perfect handles for bags this year's in colors are not as bright as last year's are they no they're not um so you'll see i'll show you right now um, no, they are very muted. Watch Marcy's bow making video. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so these are last year's colors. And I have these markers, but I'm going to show you why I repurchased them. The markers have changed. The colors are the same on all the markers, so except the new colors. And these are the new in colors. You could buy them by themselves, okay? So you can, you can purchase just these if you want to. So don't think, oh no, I have to buy all the colors. Okay, so those are the two difference. These are last year's and this is this year's. But there are some stamp sets that are coming out in the catalog that these are going to be absolutely perfect for. So um, I'm super happy about these. So let me show you. So here's Tahitian Tide. Okay, so first of all, the barrel, do you notice how the barrel is shorter on the old one, longer on the new one? Okay. So this is going to be good for all, all the markers. All right. So shorter barrel here. This is the old one and this is the new one. The old one has a thick, so thick, and then it has the thin. Okay. This is the old marker, all right? Can you see that? Old, I'll do it darker. Okay, old marker. The new marker, here's the thick. Okay, and look at the thin. It's like a bullet tip. Look how nice that is. Okay, so that is the difference. You can tell. Okay, that is new. And that is old. So the longer barrel barrels are new. So they changed them up a little bit. I'm super happy about the new tip. So I think the two and colors will go well with the sweet and the new annual catalog. Yes, it will. Okay, oh, what? Oh, let's see. Yes, I really like the new tip. This one to me is writing. The only thing I really like about this is if I stamp, but I only really use the black one. And if a line didn't go very well, then I can you know, fix the line with my black marker. Um, 
but these are the black markers right now if unless they're sold out I didn't look but these are available like this right now so I would get those but not until after I order more okay then you can go order some <laughs> just kidding all right so that is the difference with the markers, which is why I bought each family because, of course, the colors change, right? Pretty Peacock. But now I have Pretty Peacock in here, too. But I have a class set of markers. So I'm going to be able to have um, update and add those to my class. And then I bought the new ones for here. Am I going to replace all my class markers? No, I'm going to use the ones I had. I'm going to have these new ones, but I also have my old ones that I had. Um, and so those will go in my, um, my class set. Um, somebody asked me, I, I mentioned earlier about, um, I'm going to be doing some boxes. And so those will go on my blog, but not until May 2nd. So hang in there. Here's a little example here I did of the colors. These are the new colors. So I will be doing stuff that will include ink, re-inkers, markers, pens, blends, ribbon, embellishments, paper. I have a lot of everything. So um, stamps, dies, extra dies. So those are the colors. Those are all our new colors. This one and these are the end colors. And then these other ones around it are the new colors. And now I have the hiccups again. Where do you add your labels on your ink pads? Oh, okay, so let me grab one. So here's, well, let me get a dark one that you can see. Okay, so pretty peacock. So what I do is I take the top one that has the words on it and I put it right here because this goes on my ink holder like this so I can see this one. And then the bottom one is blank. And then I put it right here so that when my pads are open, that I can see what color it is. Now, another thing I usually do, and I haven't done it with my new ones yet because I just put them on my shelf, is I go in and I take this off right here. And I take this off because they tend to stick, they get stuck, you know, sometimes when you're pulling them in and out and then this, it gets stuck. So I take that off. You can take this off too, but I don't, it doesn't come off. I mean, it comes off, but it doesn't easily come off. And then I toss these. Now, I have seen people take, you know, a different language one, whatever they've got here. Um, they will take a different language one and they'll put it on the side. And they'll just put it over here just in case it's, you know, on the table or whatever. They can at least see what it is. Um, I don't feel the need to do that um, because I have it here and here. And that's enough for me. But you can use these other ones and just put them around the side if you want to. Don't you have to wait to sell the retired stuff? Yes, May 2nd. May 2nd. I can, it's a new catalogs live May 2nd. I can sell. Where do you add your, okay. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah, I wanted to kind of just show you all the colors because once you stamp them, you're like, ooh, you know, it's better than you think it is. So I wanted to share that with you. And then, um, like I said, I am working on something else that I will be posting about on my Facebook page once I have it done. So the new uh, core colors, I have a stack here, but I'm just going to show you since I have this. I did buy... A package because you can add you can buy the core colors and then you can buy an extra combo pack and when you need a little extra of, of the paper at least you've got a few more pages if you need them so these are the colors of the core colors look how pretty these are let me fan them out for you now I'm gonna go through a test here and see if I can get them all right so we have Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bushel, <laughs> Berry Burst, Misty Moonlight, Pecan Pie, Lost Lagoon, Azure Afternoon. I'm guessing this is Fresh Freesia. 
because it's new, but it's carrying over. So I think Fresh Freesia. Lemon Lime Twist. Um, bubble Bath and Lemon Lolly. I hope that's right. Perry Inkers. Oh yeah, you could definitely put them on the re-inkers. You mean like on the lids? Yeah. What I would do, like I have my re-inker in my Stampin' Storage ink pad holder, so it's right next to the color, but you could add a little dot on here or even part of that plastic, just put it on there or label it around or whatever if you wanted to. Um, that way you can see if, um, you know, if it's in a drawer, you can see the tops. I've seen people do that or just add it around or whatever. I always put the others on the sides because they get stored different ways. Yeah, see mine are all just straight in. I put an extra one on my re-inkers, good idea. Do you have to wait to sell? Oh yeah, I do have to wait to sell my stuff, yes. Um, love the new yellows and pink, me too. It looks like leather. Yeah, it is really a pretty color. So here it is right here. Oops, oops, can't show you my cheat sheet thing I'm gonna share later. Um, this pecan pie right here. It's really pretty. So those are my, those are, these are the colors. Lemon Lolly. I always say Lolly Lemon, but it's Lemon Lolly. Okay, so those are the new core colors. And then these are the new in colors. So I have Boho Blue. I have the Wild Wheat, the Moody Mauve, the Copper Clay, and the Pebbled Path. So that's those colors. Uh, you can label your ink daubers with them too. Yeah, you can use them for a lot of stuff. It makes up for losing soft suede. Yes, I, I agree. I loved soft suede and it's gone, but the pecan pie is so pretty. So there are those colors. Um, of course, I have the ink pads I showed you. Oh, I do have some paper to show you um, still. So... Here's all the ink pads we got them. I already showed you all the colors. So um, these are all the core colors. And then of course I have the re-ink, I mean the um, the end colors. Look how pretty. Okay, so we have the end colors. We have those. Um, I showed you these and the paper. Um, so you have stamp and blends, I think, in all of them. I mean, uh, blends. And then my re-inkers I got. And then the other thing, you guys have seen the paper. I showed you all the paper, but I have all the packs here. But I want to show you a couple of packs of paper here. Um, so I have the Regals, the Brights, the Subtles, and the Neutrals. Um, so I kind of do them like this so I can see the names when I'm digging through my pile. Um, and I reuse my boxes. I used to put DSP on here and I used to put DSP on the back and then I used to take the color label paper and I put it on the back and I don't do that anymore because I reuse them. So I pretty much just take that off and add my new one. So that is that. And here are the end colors. These are all the same patterns. So these are the new patterns for this year. So we have our stripe and our polka dots. All right, so we have that, those. We have hearts and the little hashtag like stitching would be really cute with that set, with the crafty set. So these are the hearts. And again, the same thing. So you always get two patterns. So there's that pattern and then this pattern. Okay, so these are two. That is a pattern and this is a pattern. So everything in here, each color is gonna have the same patterns, okay? So the same patterns, same patterns. 
All right, so that is, and all of these are, the Regals, the end colors, all of those all have the same colors on there. All right, I think that is it. Whew, that is a lot of stuff. Um, I will, of course, have another um, unboxing when I have, um, in May, when the new goodies come. And I'll have more information to you about my boxes. I'm going to try and do medium flat rate. And they're going to have a lot of everything in them. They will be filled. So um, I'll have that in there. And sorry, I missed something. Where did you get the box for the 6x6? Six six? Oh, Deborah, um, do a... Oh, there was a link below. And I think I ran out of space. But you can see if it's still there. If not, it's on my last video. But you can also search 6x6 six six boxes and it'll come up. Um, I did have a video for that. Um, Beth, it's on, it is on my channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Again, um, I did see a lot of you did bingo. So it looks like bingo might be a go. So I'm going to, um, check tomorrow is the last day and I do need to fill up bingo. Um, like I said, I kind of have two thresholds. One, I break even one I'm willing to do. Um, but it's going to be retired items or retiring or carryover items. I, can, I don't have enough product to send new stuff, but in June, I will do new. In May, I will not be doing bingo because I'm going on the incentive trip. We're leaving early, and so my husband and I are, and so um, we are going to, I'm not going to do bingo. It's just going to be crazy because I want to do a paper share. So um, I will be having a sign up for paper share soon. Once I figure it all out and get it all figured out, I will get it posted and um, get that going because I want to get it, get it cut and get it mailed out to you as soon as possible um, before I leave. So it will be before I leave. Thank you, Tashana. Thank you, everybody. Yes, have a wonderful Easter. Um, don't forget, um, I said bingo. I still have like seven kits left too for my April class. It's Irresistible Blooms. Here's a sneak peek. There's going to be four cards, but five projects. I'm doing one 3D project also. And I think I only have seven kits for that left. Um, unless some sold during the video, because I did see a lot of purchasing during the video. So um, that may be the case. Again, here are the new family colors. You can see where they're in. So that is going to be available um, on my screen here. And it's on my blog too, I believe. So that will be helpful. Um, love the way you showed everything. Oh, you are so welcome. You are welcome, you guys. I appreciate you watching. And I do really appreciate your thumbs up a lot. It helps my channel. And um, if you are interested in joining, you can order your new stuff now. It can be part of your kit. Um, it's only $99. There's free shipping. If you sign up today, you will be guaranteed to get a purchase uh, for your discount through October. So your first three months, April, May, June, is a grace period, really. Whatever you sell here will go towards your first official quarter, which is um, July, August, September. So you need $300 in purchases or sales by the end of October or September. But then October is your grace period. So you have a lot of months, like over a half a year as a demonstrator to get a discount, new stuff, new inks, new colors, everything. You will order your kit um, and then you can come back, you'll get your demonstrator number, then you come back and order. Also, your last chance items are included. You, um, you get a discount on that. So a lot of people ask, do you get a discount if there's a sale going on? Yes. So you'll get the discount plus your discount. So you'll start out at 20%. And then as your title goes, if you choose to do um, it as, you know, a title, um, and you can still title up just by purchases. You don't have to have a team. If you don't want to, you don't have to do videos or any of that. I've never done your bingo. I'm not sure I'm understanding it. Okay, Beth. So what happens um, is, okay, let me finish this real quick. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to get back to the size of my things too. I forgot. Um, for bingo or for um, signing up, there's a sign up link below. It's also on my blog. And if you have any questions, just let me know. But I would love to have you on my team. Uh, so rounding back real quick, and I will get back to your question, Beth, is 
Um, these come in different sizes and I believe I have a blog post on the different sizes, but you can do like, I think one of these, like this one here. See, these are, one is a lot larger than the other one. So this is the in color because I'll probably use more and I'm going to put another package in there. And this one is for one package. Thanks, Jackie. This is for one package. Um, and you could probably put a little bit more in there. Um, but I like, I like them about an inch and a half. And I think this one, I think this is an inch and a half. Oh, let's see. This is, oh, this one's only an inch. Um, so Stephanie, if you're watching, an inch, not in an inch and a half. Um, and you can put in, you know, you could put two in here. So anyway. Okay, so Bingo, how it works is you will go to my blog and you will register. And I think there's a link below too. You can go and register on the form. Once you, and you're going to put your five numbers in. And then once you register, below that, you can pay for, the, for Bingo. And it's $35. And you'll get four card kits in the mail. But you get them after Bingo. So next Wednesday, you'll come back to here and you'll watch Bingo. I'll create a card and then we'll play Bingo. The winner of Bingo gets $100 shopping in my store. And then anything over the 100 I will invoice you. I'll send you a screenshot of your order um, of the money. And then you pay. And then I submit your order. And so obviously going to 150 creates a party. So you'll get free stamping rewards and all that good stuff as a host. Because 150 is a party and you will be the host. And so that's kind of common sense if you want to do that. If you don't or can't, you could just get your order to $100 or right below. Anything over $100, you'll just PayPal me. I'll invoice you for it. So we'll do four cards, four games. Um, I always throw something free in your kit, a little gift from me, but this time you're probably going to get a little more um, because I'm trying to clean, clean stuff. End of the year. Um, and then that's how we play. So it's a lot of fun. Hi, Donna. How are you? Um, so it's a lot of fun and um, it's a good time. I have the kits. Tomorrow's the deadline, so I'm kind of starting the kits, but I'm hoping to get, you know, I'm kind of pulling things aside and I want to make sure I have enough of everything. Um, so, oh, Carolyn, thank you. And I'm glad, I'm glad you like the colors. I do too. Um, and so that's it. So right after Bean goes over, I'll ship the kits to you within a day or two. And I ship everything out. And then, um, and then you can come back to the video and I put a timestamp below. And so it'll tell you project one, two, three, four, and then you'll just, you could just go through and create whichever one you want when you want. And the video stays up so you can do it whenever you want to. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, good Jackie. Um, so bingo is a lot of fun. I do not have a cutoff for it right now, but there's going to be because I need to create the kits, um, so I can get them done for you. So I hope that answers your questions. Good, good, good. I'm glad you like the colors. All right, if you don't have any more questions, I'm gonna let you go. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe and then hit the bell next to subscribe so that you get notified when I come on live. Um, I will be doing an unboxing in May when we can order the rest of the catalog and and, and, and I think that's it. All right. Have a great rest of your evening and I will see you. Oh, Easter is Sunday. I will not be on on Sunday. I may be on Saturday. Okay. So I don't have it scheduled, but I'm probably going to be on Saturday. So make sure you do subscribe. I'll see you then. Bye everybody.